Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about room wars, micro and macro approaches to what we're going on. I get a lot of calls, obviously, every day, uh, room forums and, and calls off the website. And people just don't understand the relationship between room size, volume, and what you're trying to do in the room. You have to make a very concerted effort to get these micro and macro issues in line, okay? So we have room size, volume, and usage. You wouldn't put drums in a closet. People do, but you don't acoustically. We're speaking from an acoustical perspective. What human beings do with things, I can't take responsibility for, nor would I ever want to. What I do take responsibility for is trying to get people to get good sound, try to get them to understand what it takes to get good sound. And if you understand the conflicting parts of acoustics, you can avoid those, develop a good strategy, and work towards a good sonic goal. Macro, room size, volume, and usage. The micros are reflections and the modes inside, right? We got all kinds of pressure and reflections going on inside the room. So the room is our container, and it has to be the right size to match the usage. And then inside the room, we have issues that have to be resolved also. So it's, like I say, it's a step-by-step -step process through everything, and everything matters, okay? Pull, pushing and pulling constantly. Pressure, reflections, remember, just in a two-channel setup, we have the direct energy from the speakers, and then we have all these sidewall reflections and rear wall reflections. Don't forget about those, and ceiling, floor to ceiling. So we're always fighting with the direct energy from the speaker, which is the least room impacted sound. It's straight line energy from speaker to ears. So that's the cleanest, lowest distortion, less room sound. But the reflections interfere with that, so we have to manage those. And we can't just use any rate and level of absorption to manage them, nor can we use any frequency response diffuser to manage them. It all has to be designed for and calculated, right? Okay. We must have a strategy. I keep harping on this. I'm sure you all are tired of it, hearing it, but I see failure every day. I see people trying things they read about on the internet. They, they try this, they try that. And my first question to them is, well, why are you calling me? If you did all those things and you believed in what you were doing, then you should, everything should be resolved and there should be no need for further consultation. They're not happy. It didn't do what they thought it would do or it made things worse. That's because you're using tactics without a strategy. You will always fail. It's like putting a, cutting off your arm or cutting off your hand and putting a Band-Aid on it to stop the bleeding. It's not going to work, okay? It's actually kind of foolish. I can't believe the money and the time people waste. You know, it's just... Everybody's looking for a quick solution, and there isn't one, and companies know that. And they'll subscribe to that in their marketing strategy. What's, what's a good example of that? Corner base traps. The corners of the room are not your problem. It's the whole wall. How is treating the corner going to solve a whole wall problem? What percentage of the corner is the total wall? Okay. So you got to look at everything. You got to have a step-by-step -step approach because every step is based upon the step you took before. You skip steps, you'll pay for it in the end. All right, micro versus macro room wars. We got all of this conflicting stuff going on in our container and what we do inside. So let's be aware of it, let's plan for it, and let's avoid the pitfalls. I really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. 
There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.